Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm going to show you two ways I export GIFs from After Effects. One costs a little bit of money, and the other one is free if you have Photoshop. So let's dig in. Here we have our After Effects composition uh, that I've just recently made that I'm going to export my GIF from. Um, the first option we're going to dive into is called GIF Gun. It's available from aescripts.com, and it costs $29.99. But I find this the simplest and easiest way to get a GIF out of After Effects, and it works really, really well with some great options. Let's not worry about our composition or what's going on in here. Let's just uh, export a GIF. So let's go underneath Window, and you choose GIF Gun, and it pops open a uh, window here. Let's bring it over here so we can see it a little bit better. And we got two options. We have make GIF, or we have a gear here that pops open the settings panel. You can save your GIF to custom folder or project folder. It gives you um, an option to resize it, uh, maximum colors, frames per second, just all kinds of different options. Um, the most important is loop GIF. Um, that's what I always make sure I have checked. And you can also save a video copy if you desire. Um, let's jump out of that and basically what we're going to do is we're going to just click make gif and everything happens automatically so as you see our gif is done if I pop that open we can see it looping right there and we're finished Let's dive over back to After Effects and show you another way to do it. Um, this way is a little bit more complicated, uh, a few more steps, but it uh, is free if you have Photoshop. So um, let me show you that workflow real quick. Basically, what we need to do is we need to export a movie file out of After Effects. Lots of ways to do that um, for ease let's just go to export and add to render queue we're going to set some settings here in our output module let's pick a let's go with a ProRes video codec let's resize our composition down to 500 and let's turn off audio we don't need audio and we can output to our folder and hit render. After our export is done, we open up Photoshop and let's open up that movie file we just exported and as you know when you open up a movie file in Photoshop you get this timeline that you can do some editing on and things like that I'm not gonna worry about it what we're gonna do is we're going to go to file export export save for web legacy in here you're gonna find um, this box that allows you to choose different export settings. We're going to choose GIF, and we've. Um, we're just going to. I'm just going to. I normally just leave these as they are. The other box I make sure we have clicked is looping options. We want forever, and we want to make sure our size is correct. And after that, we hit save. And let's just add PS here for Photoshop. And there we go. Let's take a look. So we have our two GIFs now. We have our first one that came out of After Effects using GIF Gun. And then this one right here came from Photoshop. Hey, thanks for watching, and I appreciate any feedback you have for me or any other comments. Please leave them below. 
and would love to hear from you.